Hi, I'm Sonic Guru, and here are three reasons why Batman Arkham Knight is just okay. Number one, operating the Batmobile. Being able to drive around Gotham in a Batmobile after three games is a welcome change of pace, as it helps us travel across the expanded game world and taking out numerous drones. The problem is, is that the majority of the game outright demands you to use the Batmobile. Even the Riddler has made specialised race courses for Batman to drive around in, because that's what the Riddler wants from Batman, right? To know that he can drive fast cars? 2. Lack of boss fights The previous Arkham games had great boss fights that required a level of skill and familiarity with your gadgets and surroundings. Arkham Knight has none of these, unless you count blasting tanks in a Batmobile as boss fights. No, correction, there actually is one boss fight, but he is entirely optional. And 3. The use of Scarecrow Scarecrow and his use of fear gas in Arkham Asylum were the game's biggest highlights. It was the creepy menace trying to break Batman's mind and to mess with the player's perception. In Arkham Knight, he has been reduced to a standard monologuing villain on a TV screen. Compared to the game's own Arkham Knight, Scarecrow has little to no involvement and poses no threat towards the player. He is a complete disappointment. Even though these are negative reasons, Batman Arkham Knight is still a great game, with its flawless combat system, cast of characters and stunning presentation, especially on the PlayStation 4. As the final instalment to the Arkham series, it falls short when compared to its predecessors, but don't let these nitpicks deter you from playing an otherwise great Batman experience.